All right, we're at Jeanette T. Fisheries. Uh, and Mike, you were saying, uh, who's, the, who's it named after your company? It's named after my mom. Yeah. My mom's Jeanette. My wife is Janet. Everyone thinks it's named after my <laughs> wife, but it's after my mom. You only got one mom. Oh, uh, that's right. Amen to that, you know. These are my daughters. Emma and Maria. Emma's on the left. Emma's on the left. Maria's on Maria? the right. Maria? No, who, uh, Emma, are you in graduate school? Yes. And uh, what, uh, what are you studying? I'm getting my master's in social work. Oh, congratulations. You. you went straight through to four years of college and right into graduate school? Took a couple years off, worked for him in the, every summer. But every summer? Back and be done in a couple weeks. We're hoping she gets her master's in lobster and scholar. That's what we're hoping. <laughs> she probably already has that. Yeah. She does. How many years helping you out and everything? And, she does. And uh, so it's, give me the name one more time. I'm a moron with names. Emma? Maria. Maria? Maria? And you go out on the boat too? No. No? <laughs> you handle the business side of the business a little bit? Uh, a little bit right now. Uh-huh. Are you in school? No. No? I work out of New York. Oh, out of New York? Yeah. She's oh. in the fashion industry. Are you really? It's a little slow down right now. Oh, yeah. On, yeah. So. Well, you know what? You're, you're best to be here away from the big city. Yep. I'm not a sales director. And that's Axel. No, but, uh... We, uh got, we got lobsters today? Yep. Catch what are they going for a pound these days? Catch them in the race. Market price right now is seven bucks a piece. Seven, yeah. Get it. Oop. What are they about one one and a quarters? Yeah. Axel, get out quarters. of there. Yeah. Hey. Yep. Nice hard shell lobsters. Yeah, beautiful. And then uh, we got in from Scarlet at two a.m. and, and uh, what times you head out with to be able to come back at two? Uh, four a.m. in the morning. Wow. And then you know, so it's a you know, it's a long day trip, and then we got uh. We got bagged up in two pound bags. And, oh yeah, wow. And uh, what are you uh, now? You have a you setting up just retail? You how are you marketing? Are people just pulling up? They've been pulling up real steady. Yeah, my daughter's. I'm not a social media guy, so yeah. that's, that's up to these two. Yeah, they've got uh, you know a Facebook page and Instagram. Know, Instagram, I yeah. think. So we have an Instagram that my sister made. What is it under? Captain Mike's Fresh. Fresh. Fresh catch. Yeah. Captain Mike's. Captain Mike's. Hey, say that catch. three times in a row. See how you yeah. do. <laughs> um, and then I've been posting a lot on the community pages on Facebook, and people have just been blowing up. Yeah, it's um, powerful. Yeah, very powerful. You know, so what? You just say when you're back in town and, uh, and uh, you know, you're available to sell, and you're just uh, people, you let them know? Yeah, well, well, most of our wholesalers, they sell to the casinos, they sell to restaurants. You know, normally for the past 30 something years, we sell the one wholesaler and then they distribute but yeah, as you know in the restaurant business the things are slow right now so we're yeah. really thankful for the community support it's been great absolutely absolutely you know uh, sell everything at a very fair price it's, yeah. it's actually wholesale prices and oh absolutely uh, below wholesale yeah. i was paying i was paying at least 14 a pound and what are you selling them here uh, ten dollars a pound, $10 ten dollars a pound. $10 and you can't get any better anywhere anywhere in the world there's no chemicals, no, uh, they've been soaked, they've been soaked in water, there's dry scallops, yep. the best you can get right here. Yep. So I'd, I'd, I'd recommend that anybody, uh, would they have a number they can call to check or just check on the... Uh, <laughs> We've got a business card, but like you said, my daughter Can you uh, give me that number? Yes. You want to? <laughs> <laughs> no. His phone's going to be blowing up. Oh, forget it, personal cell phone, huh? Yeah. <laughs> check out Captain Mike's Fresh Catch on, on uh, Instagram. Instagram. Instagram, and I would I would highly recommend if you're in a a 50 mile radius, take a trip down here if the government still lets us, and get you some of these beautiful scallops. Y'all stay safe. I know you're practicing. You know you have this sanitizing solution, and you know people pulling up. You're walking the orders out to the car. You know just be careful when you're walking up to the window. Don't don't uh, you know don't get too close to the cars. You know be safe. You know because we need you. You know what when when we we get finally back open up. And uh, we're gonna do some serious business. There you go. Okay? There you go. We're gonna specialize in scallops and lobsters. Perfect. Daddy Jack, uh, thanks a bunch for coming down. Hey, thank you so much for having me down. Take it easy. Be safe now. That's the real deal here. Hey, Mike, get, introduce yourself a little bit in your company. Um, Captain Mike. Okay, Captain <laughs> Mike. My buddy Mike. Me too. Mike and Mike. Okay. All right, getting picking up some scallops right off the boat, huh? Yes, sir. Yes. How can you beat that? Axel, Axel, come over here. Sit, sit, sit. Come here. 
Hey, sit down now. Here, sit. Hey, sit. Is he going over to the Neon Chicken? He loves fresh, fresh seafood. And he sells them there. Um, I'm, or, or just for a private, I private think he's stock. For his family and friends more than selling. <laughs> oh man, this is high quality stuff. Man. No, these are for sale, personal use. Yeah, so Mike, now, uh, now what do you got going on here now? You see how uh, the different colors, you know? They're, yeah, I saw that. The bag, like you it. know, they're, they're orange and, and white and tan and pink. And yeah. They're connected. There's no, there's no preservatives. We don't use anything on them. Yeah. You know, so these are all dry, what's called dry scallops. Yeah, dry. So cut them and bag them and ice them and that's it. No well, well, that's the thing with scallops, man. Just, no, uh, you, you know, you, you never know what you're getting yeah, because uh, no, these, these are they'll, they'll tell you they're fresh and they're, they're, they're slagged out frozen and they're, they're um, uh, what, uh, sodium benzoate. They soak them yeah, in that preservatives. Yeah, and no, no preservatives. They're not soaked. These are, these are dry. Awesome. I was awesome. in a warehouse in New Bedford and they had them all in big vats full of uh, uh, liquid water. Yeah. A solution they had. So sodium benzoate. They check them and once they weighed a little bit more, they, yeah. then they put them into the next tank. They're like sponges, and, right? They'll oh, just yeah, soak up what a good part of their own weight. These are full of flavor. That's it. Oh, man. Nice. It makes a lot of people happy right there. That's for sure. I tried some corned beef venison. I was in New Jersey down there, monk fishing with him. The guy never, I had corned beef uh, venison. The guy was so happy. He's gonna give me a, a fifty pound bag of these, just like you got. Well, and I never came back the next day to get my fifty pound bag. <clears throat> Watch your step here. You fall into the muck. Not easy to get out. Right along the railroad tracks here. Freight train tracks coming through. All right, birds making birds making their nest in these cages, these old cages. Probably the mother sending out the alarm, protecting her nest. Oh. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Jim. We're here with Jim Sheehan, local. You're born and raised here in New London? I was born in uh, uh, Lakers, New Jersey, but I lived in New London my whole life. Yeah. My grandparents and parents owned uh, Peggy's Restaurant, which is on North Bank Street. Right. And there's no longer North Bank Street. What's so. standing right there where it was? Harbor Towers, the garage? I think it might be part of the garage, part of a lot of things where the road is. Yeah. And behind, I remember the railroad tracks as a kid. Yeah. We had a rooming house, we had a bakery, had a bunch of stuff. And they came in and uh, said, okay, we're taking it away from you now. You're going to leave. What year was that? Any I remember? 1963. 1963. Yeah. How long had they been in business? Oh, boy, I don't know. It was Peggy's for the longest time. Yeah. And we used to take a lot of the Navy people, and we had like, I think it was a dozen rooming houses. Wow. We took in people, and we let them stay there. Tough and town back in the day, right? I also did a fishing show from 1996 to 2000. It's been like 15 years. Wow. A local fishing show, you know what I mean, on the local cable channel. Yeah. Sometimes well, community access, fishermen. community yeah. access. He used to get a cable and started with the other ones. I did a couple of shows on PAX. NBC packs and a couple specials, but... You got any of the old footage? You got it on uh, DVD or anything? I have some of it. It's on the mini DVDs. Yeah. But anyway, you give me a card, I'll give it to you. Hey, what's the, uh, what, uh, what, 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 what the year of Peggy's, what kind of food do they serve? My grand, my father used to come down here and get seafood. Yeah. Get a bowl right down here. Go down there and get that. You go to Niantic Bay and get the scallops. Yeah. Back in the day. When wow, they yeah. Really, I hear they're the best. They, Niantic they Bay like, scallops. You know, all the rest of the world, they, they've seen these scallops. Yeah. So they're like famous for them. The ninth base column. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ridiculous. And my, 
He had his little boat down here. It's in the back of my yard right now. Oh yeah. What I'm doing is I'm using it for a wall hang at the back end of it. Yeah. I got an old Ted Williams. I mean, I'm a Red Sox fan. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, me too. Said Yankee. But it's a Ted <laughs> Williams. It's green, and I have a little bar for the basement, or wherever you want to put it. I have the bar, and I have it's a wall hanger. Nice. In the back of the boat, it's just a cutout. The actual my grandfather's old boat. Yeah. The back of the boat. And I got the old Ted Williams green motor. And oh, back man. Bar thing. man. It's kind of, I don't know if I'll keep it or not, but I might. You still living here? You still living here we're, in New London? Yeah, we're, no, we live, we live in Waterford. Waterford. We moved out of there. They kicked us out of that place. Yeah, yeah. So now you're still, your family's there. still here? Uh, and no, I got I, me and my sister are the only ones left. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're in the process of probably getting rid of the place. You know, it's a, yeah. it's a big money pit. Hey well, hey well, you know I got a Daddy Jack's restaurant down here in New London, and when we get back open, swing in it, man. I put I use some of your footage off of your fishing videos, put them in some. Uh... All right, give me the name one more time. Jim Sheehan. All right, Jim. Nice, nice and tight. Back of all my shirts, life's too short to worry. Relax. That's right. Hey, hey. You know what? That 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 is uh, apropos for the times we're in right now. I know. Enjoy enjoy the sunshine. Get out and look at some nice Stay views. Six feet away. You're downwind. Hold on. <laughs> I know, I got all my stuff. I got my bag, everything on me, so. Yeah. All right, man, Mr. Sheehan. All we'll right. see you, man. Take it nice easy. Meeting you. Thank What's you. Name? Jack. Daddy Jack. Jack. Daddy Jack. Thank all you. Right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Right. Give me a card. I will. All right, I'd like to thank Mike. Jeanette T. Fishing Boats. Down on... Uh, Crossing the police station here in New London. Go over the railroad tracks, make a left. He sells the most beautiful scallops. And Rob from the Mystic Way brought me some of the porgies. Some of the most delicious fish going. And I use the straight drop seafood, just light, light seasoning. Just let the natural flavor come out. Uh, straight drop seafood, Yamani down in uh, North Carolina. I bought some of his spices. Um, straight drop he's got all kinds of straight drop seasoning got a chipotle chipotle rub and this is just you know just barely cooked this nice fish um kind of a dry saute on some vegetables throw a little bit of cherry tomatoes in we'll throw the, uh, the florets in there right at the end but these scallops are unbelievable and uh, the, the the fish is so beautiful right here in the london we're blessed scallops are ten dollars a pound I was paying getting a good price, you know, before this all happened. Uh, the shutdowns and everything at fourteen dollars a pound, so you get a two pound bag for twenty bucks, and they're beauties. One the same day, and uh, go go ask them, Mike. I'll put the um, my beautiful daughters are helping them out, getting them all set up. They got an uh, Instagram and and uh, everything. So we're trying to eat healthy, and uh, this is a beautiful beautiful thing right here. God bless y'all. Just easy cooking here, just good old plain cooking. Lightly season the seafood, let, let it stand out. Even Axel gets to eat. Axel, come here. Sit, sit, sit. You're a good boy. You know what? People want to see you on uh, camera. They've been asking, we should do a whole video with Axel. I agree. <laughs> 